Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will thank you for making it to today's Bible study from Dominion Church International. My name is John Mbazira Waso. I will thank the Lord for this day that he has made. And as we open up today's session, let's humble ourselves in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, you are awesome. You are gracious. You are loving. You are faithful. From day to day, we see your greatness made manifest in the lives of mere men. We thank you, Lord, for the presence of your Holy Spirit. And today, as we dwell into your word, we ask, Lord, that you come down, reveal Christ from this truth. You are the author and you are the best person to interpret it. Therefore, Lord, we pray that you come down among us that you reveal Christ for who he is and cause us, Lord, to arise from our present state to aspire to where you want us to be that our lives will be changed to the glory, the honor, and the praise of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, uh, we are continuing with our Bible study. And we have taken a journey. Today we begin to unveil chapter 8 of the book of Revelation. And let's open to that text and read it. From verse 1 to verse 13. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God. And to them was given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer filled it with fire from the altar and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded and a hail and fire Followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. And the third of the trees were burned up. And all green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain. Burning with fire was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea became blood. And a third of the living creatures in the sea died. And a third of the ships were destroyed. Then the third angel sounded. And a great star fell from heaven. 
eva muguru burning like a torch ne gwange yakango omumu and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water ne gwa ku kitunde chokusata echemiga ne chenzi zizamazi the name of the star is wormwood erinya ye munyenye liitibwa abusinso a third of the waters became wormwood ne kitunde chokusata echamazi ne kifuka abusinso and many men died from the water abantu banji ne bafolwa amazi because it was bitter kubanga gali gali gacha gakaizi then the fourth angel sounded malaiko wokuna nafuwa and the third of the sun was struck ne kitunde chokusata echenjuba ne chikubibwa the third of the moon and a third of the stars so that a third of them were darkened a third of the day did not shine and likewise the night and i looked and i heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven nendaba saying with a loud voice ngayogera ne doboze deni wo 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 to the inhabitants of the earth ziba sanze ziba sanze ziba sanze abatula kunsi because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet olwa maloboza agasigadde yo agakagombe of the three angels who are about to sound akaba malaika abasatu abagenda okufuwa this is our text for us today and we are thankful to God. Spirit of the living God. Let no word proceed from our mouth. Except that which you have ordained from on high. May Christ reveal. And him crucified. Because when he is lifted up Kubanga wagulumizibwa men will be drawn to him abantu bonna bajjajali in Jesus name mulinye lya Yesu amen amina this is another interesting text kino je tusomye kintu kireta ebyokwewunyisa bintu because it provides us with a background kubanga kitulage ebyafayo all a view behind the scenes obenda baye bintu eriye mabega jota of what happens eriye byonne bibawo to what we see in the end time they the events that we are being unveiled here are the events that Jesus talks about in Matthew chapter 24 when he begins to talk about the end time and the beginning of the birth pains which some theologians call the great tribulation katabamu abasomi ba bible bagamba enaku ezokubonya abonya nokutulugunyiza now for you to understand how we come to the, where we are right now kati gwo kutegera wano wetu tuse we need to go back to chapter 5 tutekedwa kudda yo musule yo kutano where john is taken up uyokana wasi tulibwa and there he sees in the hand of god nala ba mukono gwa katonda the seal akabonero a sealed scrolls omuzingo ngagugadwawo now he desires to see what is written on aya yanilo okulaba biche ebiwandikidwa and there in heaven era muguleyo it was recorded that there was no one found who was worthy to open that seal chali mubuwandike nti tayali tayasangi boye yali agwana okubembula bubondero oko now why he is in tears katinga ali mubiwobe One of the elders tapped him and said there is one that is worthy. And he told him that the lamb the lion of the tribe of Judah. He has overcome. And based on the fact that he has overcome. He is found worthy to break the seal so that the scroll can be unveiled and then in the subsequent chapters we see one after the other each of these seals being broken and the events that come out ere ebintu byonne ebirabisibwa have such a, a big impact upon the earth at the time bidina ekomo lelikola kunsi mu bisere ebyo now in chapter 8 this is where we have 
the seventh seal broken. And the seventh breaking of the seventh seal then also brings another series of sevens. So we, the breaking of the seventh seal now becomes the prelude to the opening or, or the sounding of the seven trumpets. So we have seven, we have seen seven before. Now we are seeing the trumpets in this text. And we will see the impact of the four trumpets. And we will tackle the, the next three trumpets in the, our next series. The Bible tells us Bible Bible as we open today's account that when the seventh seal was broken there was silence in heaven. Silence in heaven. All the worship ceased for half an hour. Usually when you have silence before an event, there is something very profound that God wants you to see. Or oh, there is something of grave importance that they want you to focus on. Why would heaven be quiet? What does heaven want us to understand? And here, when there is silence in heaven, where well, the sin that we have is the sin at the altar. And what God wants us to see is the mystery of prayer. What happens when people pray? You see, we have grown up in a culture where people have their own definition of what prayer is all about. But I want us to begin to understand it from a different perspective altogether. When we prayer is an act of grace. Now before you protest. Or you provide your support. I want you to listen to me carefully. You see for us to be able to pray effectively. We are participating in what has been willed by God. In, in other words, prayer is not an action that you initiate. It is not an action that you control end to end. You see, the pagans have an, an understanding that they can force their gods to do their bidding. So the rituals they perform and the acts they go through are to get their gods to act for them. Now that's not the God that we worship. Now on the other hand, there are others who sit back and say, okay, if it is the will of God, let me sit back and do nothing. So you surrender yourself to the faith. But that's not the understanding of prayer. You see, in prayer, you and I enter into an action that has been begun by God. So in this action, we find ourselves participating in the results of his gracious act. So we neither do it 
chikola. No, do we have it done to us? E rate chitukole bwa. We will to participate. Fetwe wa yo tuetabe. In that which has been willed by Twe, God. Tuetabe mwecho katonda che ya sala uo. Basically, your whole life as a Christian. Obulamu bobo nangu mu Christian. Is an aspect of prayer. You welcome God's gracious hand in your life. And you participate in what he's doing in the world. So God involves us in his plan. And we, when we will or yield ourselves, then through prayer, participate in his acts of grace. So he allows us to be used of us to reveal his greatness and his power. Now to the outsider, it may look like you are the initiator. And that's why we have powerful men of God, powerful prayer warriors. They have learned the secret. They have understood that it is God who is moving them. And when they get into that act of prayer, they are participating in something he has begun. And they are working with him, fulfilling what he wills on earth. So here, we see heaven silent. And the picture that the Holy Spirit wants us to understand is what happens when we pray. We have an altar. And the Bible tells us Bible that at that point the prayers of all the saints are upon the golden altar. That makes me smile. Why? Because they don't say and John's prayers. It doesn't say a prayer from this particular church. If it doesn't say a prayer from this apostle. He says the prayer of all the saints. Corporate prayer is gathered at this order. It does not have any color. In the eyes of God, this is his will for all the saints. In the eyes of God, these are the men and the women. These are the children that has responded to his act of grace. And the Bible gives us what happened. That there was this angel and he was given incense and that he should offer it with all the prayers of all the saints. All the prayers of all the saints. Child of God, whoever has committed his life to Christ is regarded as a saint. So you don't have to die to be canonized. You are a saint because you have surrendered your life to Christ. And he has has become the savior and the lord of your life. And the angel, the Bible tells us, when he has mixed the incense with the prayers, this incense ascended to God. From the angel's hand. From the hand of the angel. Not from the hand of one sent to another. You say we tell people. That God does not have stepchildren. You don't have to be praying through another person to another. 
Teweta aga kugamba munta akusabira obo kusabira mulinya lyo mulala yenna. You don't have to pray through another saint. Teweta aga kusaba omuntu kuva kusabire. We have one mediator. Tulino mutabaganya omu between man and God. Atabaganya abantu ne katonda. The man Jesus Christ. O musajja Yesu Christ. He is the only one. Oyo yeka wavi ya gwandidi to intercede on behalf of the saints. O kwega elira eri abatukuvu. So what we see here kati chetula ba wa is a very clear pattern. Tulaba enkola of how prayer ascends. Mungeje sala ya feje ya mbuka to the throne room of Ge- God. Ngegenda mu kisenge cha namulozo ya katonda. You don't see any intervention. Tulaba wa waliwo munta akiyingira mu of Mary. Ngamalia mwazina ko. You don't see any intervention. Tola bawo mulala yenna of any matter. Omuku bajuli zinga zokusabira. You don't see any intervention. Tola bako mulala chiyambi of any Christian saint with a name. Omutuku vuye ne ayo mu Kristayo uh-huh. yali amanyikidwa. What we see? Feche tula bawo. A prayers taken from the altar. Esala ngaziva ku kyoto and the angel mixes it up with the incense. Malaika nazi gata wa muno obubanga and it ascends era nezambuka to the throne room of God muchisenge chenna mulondo where we have our high priest ngatulina akabono omukuru and the intercessor for all the saints e, Jesus Christ ere ye gairira kulwa abatukuvu Yesu Christ who the bible says forever liveth to make intercession on our behalf bible ye gamba anto ye aliwo okwegairira kulwa abatukuvu remember Jukita. When you were praying on earth, you did not know how to pray or to make your prayer worthy. Walito manyi kusaba obo kusaba mukusaba okutufu. But the Holy Spirit, na yo moyo mutukuvu, who is God resident in us, ngoyo ye katonda atudde mugwe, bears in our witnesses, kati witnesses. Ah, atuyamba ko mubunafu bwafu. And intercedes on our behalf. Naye ne ye gairira kulwafi. With groans to deep. Nga sinda. So you are here on earth. Kati gwoli wano kuzi. The Holy Spirit is here empowering prayer. Ngo moyo mtu kuvali wano okusama amanyo And when this prayer gets to the throne. Sale no yambuka nege na reason angel. Wali wo malaika. Who mixes it with the incense. Ajitabaganya no no wo wo and raises it up before the throne. Na ajistula maso ganda mulondo ya. What a wonderful channel we have. Ngatulina omuwatu omujo we have. Chinonga cha mwendo. This is a hotline. Eno oita mu bwisi teina kuyimirira. There, there is no intervention whatsoever. Temuli chiyambi wano. There is no distortion whatsoever. Temuli achidemesa. Sense of God. Abatukufu bakato. When we come to prayer it should be an exciting moment for every one of us. Wetu yingira mukasera ko kusaba kabira kasera kasanyo It should be a as to understand that we have that unique privilege fe to take it to know mwaga ngatu wewe do busoboze to come before the throne of grace okujja mu maso ganda mulondo ye chisa no kusasa and obtain grace to wewe chisa and obtain favor to wewe okuganda and obtain mercy to wewe okusasira to help us in our time of need tuyambiwe mukasira ko bwetavu and the bible therefore talks about the angels who are before the throne of god kati bible yogera kuba malaika bana abali masoga na mulondo ya katonda and so it's it talks about the ones that stand before the throne of god bogera ko na emirira masoga na mulondo ya katonda be each being given ngabulioma awebwa seven one of the seven trumpets bulioma awebwa akagombe kamuko musambu and they are given these trumpets to sound them bawe bo bugombe bunu okufuwa this when you read the greek kati wo soma muri yonani they use the word ake which means archangels ekigambo kino ake kitegeza ba malaika ba abakuru and we do have an example of one of them era tuine echo kulabirako in luke chapter 1 and verse 19 muluka esule soko nyirwa 11 when the angel gabriel comes to mary malaika gabriel wa jeri mali during the, their discourse katinga bogereza he reveals himself as gabriel ye yanjulanga gabriel who stands in the very presence of god ah imirira mu maso ga katonda now there is another book wali we kitabe kitabe that we call the part of the apocrypha which is not part of our 
Bible that we use. What we call the canon. There is one of those books which is the book of Enoch. Now in the book of Enoch we are given the names of the seven angels. And uh, they list them as Uriel, Uriel, Raphael, Raphael, Mi- Raguel, Raguel, Ma- Mikael, that's Michael, Mikael, Oba- Mikael, Sarakiel, Sarakiel, Gabriel, Gabriel, and Fanuel. Nefanuel. Now, I don't want you to go back and say now. This is a deeper revelation. I need to pursue that line. No, you don't have to go there. I just brought them just for mention. That somewhere there is a record. But we don't use this as part of doctrine. So I, I remember talking to a minister one time and he was telling me about somebody who was going into the depth and said what he was now summoning Raguel to come. And he said, which I find very amusing, but we do have all that doctrine around who does what. But that is not given to us in the books of the Bible. And, and where it has been silent, the best advice is to keep it silent. And follow what has been revealed. Because it is the revealed things that belong to us and our children. Praise be to God. Now, there has been a lot of misunderstanding concerning who this angel is. Several scholars assume that this is Christ. Himself. And they have this understanding that when Israel was moving from the land of captivity to the land of promise, we see during that journey an angel Malaika. who is called the angel of Yahweh or the angel of the Lord. Who in this instance is the pre-incarnate Christ. And we see him make appearance in connection to the nation of Israel. Now in the book of Revelation, and at this point that we are talking about, the nation of Israel comes to the floor. And because it comes to the floor, as they hold that Jesus now makes the reappearance in connection to the nation of Israel. Others hold that he is the high priest, great ah. high priest of the New Testament. And in this instance, he is making intercession. That is how intercession is being made. But uh, that is so far from the truth. Uh, because they overlook one very important word. The Bible states that an other angel. Now, that word another angel, the word that is used in Greek for another, is the word alos. A-double-L-O-S. In Greek, there are two words we use for an other. One is alos. And the other is alos. 
and the other is eteros. eteros. Now alos, alos means an other of the same kind. Chitegeza omulala nenga akola ngono mukufanana. Eteros means kati eteros to chitegeza another of a different kind. Mulala nenga byakola byawukana ne chidi echidaka. What we see here is the use of the word alos. Fechetula bache chine chigambo alos which means an other of the same kind like the seven. So it cannot be Christ. <laughs> this is another of the angels who is like the seven that stand in the presence of God. Praise be to God. Hope that is understood. But what we see here that I don't want us to overlook is the impact of our prayer. That our prayer gets to heaven. <laughs> that our prayers <laughs> reaches the throne room of God. That our prayer ascends as an aroma before God. And that our prayer elicits a response from heaven. So the burning of incense is symbolic. And what we see here is that then the angel mixes the prayer with the cause of fire from the altar. And he throws it back to the earth. <laughs> We see something very profound here. This is a symbolic of heaven. Responding. What to the prayer that has been made by the saints. So the mixing of the fire. This fire is found on the golden order. Now, the mixing of the prayer with the order. It is now the mixing of the ordinary, which is your prayers with the divine. Which is the divine power of God. And then you have an extraordinary response. Because you have prayed. All because you have responded to what has been willed. By God. And here we see this, each of four of the seven trumpets and what their response was on earth. What we see are God's judgments upon the earth. And we see these judgments coming. Listen to me very closely. They are coming because men have rejected the grace of God. You see, God's judgment comes when we reject God's grace. When God's grace is received, then the grace of God that we receive helps us. Or God's grace covers us so that God's judgment does not come our way. So the judgments of God come to us because we have rejected the grace of God. After the grace of God, there is nothing more for us to face except his judgment. And I know a lot of people find it so hard to understand why a God who is gracious 
can release judgment. The fact is, God releases judgment. But his judgment comes to those who ignore. Comes to those who reject his grace. And we see the power when we see the destruction that his judgment contains. But I see something very profound here. That I see something very profound here. That we need not to overlook. For each of these judgments that comes, the destruction is capped at a third. So a third. That means he's holding out for the two thirds. And the reason he's holding out is so that men can reach out and see his hand of grace and see his mercy and be able to receive that which he so graciously gives. My brother, my sister, if you have received Christ and made him the Savior and the Lord of your life, you are on the safe side. If you have rejected Christ, if you have rejected the grace of God, today you have an opportunity to receive this Jesus and make him the Savior and the Lord of your life. Then your prayer can have meaning then your prayer can have accession before the throne of growth. Then you will see prayer make a difference God is holding out this opportunity for you. And I am certain that the events that will happen will not impact your life. The reason why they not impact your life is because the grace of God has been shown, has been revealed, has been applied to your life. Let's pray for those of you who today would like to dedicate your life to Christ, would like to say yes for the work of Calvary. Would like to say yes, Lord. I acknowledge I'm a sinner. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. I invite you to pray with us today. As you invite Christ in your life. As you invite Christ to become the Lord of your life. As you invite Christ to reveal the grace of God in your life. And from henceforth, you become an active participant in this act of grace called prayer of what is being revealed by God. Let's pray. Loving Father, here I am before you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner in need of your saving grace. Lord Jesus, you came and died to pay the price for sin, to pay the price for guilt, that my sins may be washed away and my life will be renewed. Today, I receive you, Lord Jesus, in my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Write my name in the book of 
Erinya liangeli wadi kemo chita wejo. Guide my footsteps from this day forward. Lunga mi bigele biango kuvulwa lelo. And help me from this day. Ero nyambo kutandi kali. To graciously participate. O kwe o mchiso kwe tava. In that which has been well. Mwecho katonda chiyaganya chibewu. Thank you Jesus. Webale Yesu for saving me alive. Roku ndokola. Thank you Jesus. Webale Yesu for making me your own. Roku furo wo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now if you have made this prayer for your very first time. Katwo bange sale no akwo jatu de unakuru rusoka. You have been wonderfully saved. O mazoku lokoka. By virtue of what you have uttered from the bottom of your heart. Jesus yes. has come in your life to dwell. By the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now you are a saint of God. You are now a wonderful participant. In this act of what is willed by God. You are now a child of God. Katomazo kufuka omwana wa Katonda. Born again. Gozalidwa bujja. Not of the flesh. So kuita mu mubidinga abazadde ba. Not of the will of man. So kuita mu kwagala ko omuntu yenna. Not of the desire of the flesh. Tino si kwagala kwa mubidi. You have been born of God. Katonda amazo kuzala. The Bible tells us Bible that when he came to his own, his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the power to become the children of God. You are now a child of God. But I bring an encouragement also. For that one that has gone back. For that one that has been a state of depression. For, for you who has prayed and you don't see anything working out. And you had given up on prayer. You had given up on calling unto God. Don't give up. This is your moment. This is what God has been waiting for you to listen to. So that your life will be re-energized. Prayer is that wonderful tool that you have. Is that unique privilege that you have. To get before the throne of God. To be able to participate in what your father is doing upon the face of this earth. You will see the miraculous made man You will see life come back to lifeless situation. I know we are living in a time where a lot of people are confused. Where a lot of people are in hopeless situation. Where many of us have seen their loved ones taken to hospital. You've seen their loved ones leave this planet to go and be with the Lord. And it is a moment of sadness. It is a moment of confusion. But I want you to draw back your attention to where life springs. To where hopeless situations to that very place where the impossible becomes possible. And that is the place of prayer. Pastor Nathan, I want us to agree in prayer concerning this situation concerning this adverse situation that is before us concerning that brother that sister that woman that mother that father in a hopeless situation and we are going to pray with you 
tugenda kusabira wa munawe don't leave at the end of this service we have going to pray with you and believe god gumikiriza tugenda kusabira wa munga service gwako katonda abeko cha god will visit you katonda agenda kuchalira wo god will change your situation katonda jja kuchuse embera yo god will bring a new song to your mouth katonda agenda kuletera okuyimba olimbo olujja you will have a testimony ogenda kuweva that in the midst of adversity ti maseka tikobutabango kobuno god use the ashes of my adversity katonda yakoze sevulino eliyo butabango kobwendi to burn a flame of hope you will have a testimony at the end of this service uh, don't forget uh, to visit us on our facebook and youtube channels dominion church international dominion church international mbuya mbuya we are there please get there like the channel Jagale and uh, follow us. Your life will not remain the same. We do have online programs. programs Every Tuesday from 7 to 8. We have the Bible study. On Friday. So for the Bible study we are going through the book of Revelation. On Friday we have the Holy Ghost revival service. From 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, it is an interactive session. Uh, it is a moment where we will pray for you. Kasera kakusabira. It's a moment where we will pray and believe God with you. Kasera tusabire wa mtu kirize katonda kuwo. The Bible tells us when two more gather. Bible yetu gamba babili basatu we bakunga. He is there in him. He is there. Ne katonda abera mmaseka chikafu. So we are agreeing with you. Katugenda kusechi mwa nawe. Concerning the desires of your life. Concerning the plan of God for your life. And your life will not be the same. On Sunday we have a service from 10 to 11. Please join us. Every Sunday. We would love to have you and your life will not be the same again. So we are going to pray. We are going to agree concerning your life in this situation. Concerning your life in these circumstances that we are living in. These are the moments where God thrives. Katonda weyo walabika these are the moments bino byebiro we in the midst of darkness timu maseka tige kizikizanga chiwambi light ekitanga shines through chaka ne chiva mu kizikiza chino david understood this perfectly daudi chino yachitegera bulundi he said though weeping may endure for the night kagamba ya david wo bibera we chiro chonna joy comes in the morning na yesa yolija kumacha It has been dark yes. It has gotten darker yes. But you're missing the point my brother. You're missing the point my sister. The darker it gets. The closer it becomes to the morning. Your morning is now. Your dawn has come. The light of God the power of God the grace of God is coming your way just join with us in prayer and let's believe God Father in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the living God you have declared behold I'm the Lord the God of all flesh is there anything too hard for me you have decreed in your word behold my hand is stretched out who can draw it back you have declared in your word that with you all things are 
Jesus. Therefore, we come as your children. We stand in agreement concerning these people that are following us right now, that are listening to this Bible study right now. We have, have told them that our prayer comes before you. And you are the God who responds to prayer. Therefore, Lord, I pray in the mighty and precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Meet them, Lord. Send Help, Lord. Send deliverance, Lord. We speak it in their situation, Lord. For those that have been down with sickness, you are the Lord that heals us. Therefore, we speak healing from their heads to the soles of their feet. We speak deliverance. We declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. For their loved ones that are in hospital. For their loved ones that are on oxygen. We speak healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, healing to the lungs, healing to the livers, healing to the kidneys. We speak to tumors now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. We command them to shrink in Jesus' name. We break every curse upon their lives. We break every stronghold of the enemy upon your life in the name of Jesus. I speak, be free. Be free right now from your head to the soles of your feet. We speak to pain. We speak to flus. We speak to fevers. We speak to cancer. We command you now in the name of Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. To lose your hold upon the saints of God. We speak your healing Lord Jesus. Because by your stripes we are healed. We speak your healing. To every part of their lives. For those that are out of jobs. We speak employment. For those that are in a moment of desperation. We speak hope. We thank you, Lord, because you are doing exceedingly abundant above all that we think, above all that we ask. And we thank you for the testimony. And we will testify of this that you have done this day to the honor, the glory, and the praise of your name. Lord Jesus, we pray them here. And amen. 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 And amen. Thank you for watching us. God richly bless you. I know God has moved. I know God has touched you. I know God has done a miracle in your life. So please call us on the numbers on the screen. Write to us. Tell us what God has done. Let's celebrate God's faithfulness. Let's celebrate God's goodness. And see you next Tuesday. God bless you. Amen. Amen.